Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Remember to follow me on Facebook too. Nitro Kyosho, uh, all one word, brings you to the community page. All the YouTube stuff is linked there. Uh, well guys, it's been a little bit of a time span since I've been in front of the camera. A couple of months now, and uh, a couple of my subscribers asked me, they said, Ray, are you you out of the game or are you still making videos? And I am. Uh, I've been on a little hiatus, guys. I've uh, been doing some work in my home and uh, getting some uh, rooms painted and different things. Uh, but anyways, I'm back and uh, flying season's upon us. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some flying videos coming to you soon. We've had a very mild winter. Uh, so that was a big plus uh, in New England. Um, well, guys, I'm here again to talk about the skids. I've been back and forth with what they call the dolphin skids, the speed skids, all the different names. I like them, and I've never had any problems with the stability of it landing or anything. And I use them a lot because I really like the way it jacked up the back end, and it saves these blades uh, from getting beat up, the carbon tail blades in the grass. <clears throat> now, if you're taking off from a landing pad or concrete or whatever, then it probably isn't going to really affect you one way or the other. Um, but I do like these, the carbon skids, because they make it just that little bit more visual aid in the sky. It always kind of looks weird with those speed skids, like it's kind of missing something and <laughs> something's broke off or so I'm going to make a go at using these again and see how it goes as far as keeping the tail up in the back. Uh, but I have a tip for you guys. Uh, now, these skid sets are about $26, $27. And if you have any kind of a crash and you break the front part, which I'm sure most of you know about, the black plastic piece in the front, you got to buy the whole kit to get that, okay? And... I'm sure they know that. <laughs> so instead of selling you a little $5 plastic piece, you got to spend almost $30 on a whole set of skids. Some companies are just selling the skids themselves, which is okay, but the black piece in the front, the plastic piece that holds the, the skids, is what breaks. Okay, and that was one deterrent why I stopped using them, because every time you got to shell out $25, $30. But I figured something out to do where you don't have to, okay? And I wish I had kept my other set that I had threw away when they broke uh, the black piece in the front. This is the center of it. I'm going to show you what I did, guys. It's just basically common sense. And I says, well, what do I need this piece of junk piece in the middle for? It really doesn't serve much purpose. <laughs> so let me get up and show you what I did here, guys. Like I said, this is the piece that goes... All right, in between. I simply just cut that, cut them out, okay, with uh, a Dremel. <clears throat> and I put them in there, that pieces that go there. And there's really no need for that stupid centerpiece that snaps off, okay. So you just put one and one, one side, the other side there, those little blocks. And you're basically just eliminating this piece that goes in between there. Uh, now I've tested it. It's very tough, durable. I don't see any reason for that piece. The skids don't move. They don't twist. And once again... You're just using the end blocks. Trim them. You see, that's a good good view there, guys. And that's it. You know, so save yourself some money, guys, the next time that breaks on you. And just eliminate that centerpiece, okay? These are the things that agitate us, guys. I know, uh, you know, they know that this piece breaks in the front. Why not just sell that, okay? And uh, that's the mark of a decent company. But, you know, when they do this kind of stuff, it ekes me because people got to go out and shell out 
almost 30 bucks for that stupid black piece. You know, they could have made it out of aluminum. Uh, so, anyways, you know, hate to come back with a video, guys, and always be complaining, but, you know, these are the things that I do, that I research, that I tweak, and, uh, Anyways, if you want to do that little modification, you're just taking those end pieces off of this guy, trim them up nicely, pop them back on there, and I don't see really any need for this. It, it serves no purpose. The skids are super strong on there, and uh, no problem at all. Landing it, flying it, nothing. So, uh, that's about all I got to say, guys, and I hope that this tip helps you out, and I hope it saves you uh, 30 bucks. And uh, So give it a shot next time you have an accident with those, and uh, just do what I did, that little mod, and I think you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, if you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho.